Previously on TV Sins. Watch. No, it was my father's. Took the watch off, put an old coffee can, and in that can it stayed. YouTube comments section, the TV show. Also, who was the redhead arguing with on the other side of the table? Who was anyone arguing with? Dogs playing poker. I check. Raise. Listen, asshole, the spirit just said check, so you're not raising any f***ing thing. There has to be a bet in order for you to then raise. Sure is a good thing poker exists, or how else would we know when a character is so much smarter than everyone else? Also, man, what an amazing card player Harvey is. He's got pocket aces and hit a set, and the other guy just has pocket queens and he hit a set. With no flush or straights possible, it's just so insane what a good player Harvey is to get all the money on that hand. You have to be so good to get all the money in that situation. Blackberry! So I'd say the ball's in your court, but the truth is your balls are in my fist. Finally, a legal show where it's all about men being men and swinging their dick around to see who's is bigger. Prior to this, we only had Perry Mason, LA Law, Law and Order, Jag, Murder One, The Practice, Boston Legal, and The Defenders to whet our appetite. But I'm sure Suits will be the one that differentiates itself, right? Oops, sorry. Good thing this human missed setting a booklet on a table at point blank range, or else how would we know how clever and cunning our protagonist was? What did you get me? Well, I said I was gonna get you, a 158. I can have my money, please. Shouldn't Cheater McGee wait and see if he actually got the 158 before paying Mike? Also, this is insinuating that he cheated the L-set by using this guy's ID. Two problems. He looks nothing like this guy. And since the test administrator recognized him at the end, shouldn't he have recognized him while checking him in as well? Props department is like, how do we convey Reckless Rich? A crutch rocket. Yes, put one in the living room. But they don't live on the ground floor. Exactly. You want in, you are in. No. That is word for word your offer before I got caught cheating on your math test in the third grade. What the hell is a nine-year-old offering someone to get in on in the third grade? Secret underground Pokemon trade card ring? I mean, look at me. This is a $2,000 suit, Mike. Damn it, you were one S away from rolling commercials. You have one job, Trevor. It's totally safe. It isn't. I'm trying to get him to work for me. That's a great idea. We'll take some stress off Trevor, and you'll pick up writing code like you do everything else. Writing code? Sounds like Jenny might catch Trevor in some pretty little lies soon. How did you know Gerald wouldn't look at that memo? Cause the charging bull always looks at the red cape, not at the man with the sword. When you really think through this metaphor, wouldn't the fake document be the red cape? Which means Gerald would have been looking directly at it and caught Harvey in his lot. And is it the sword too? I'm not sure this metaphor makes sense. Attorney, I close situations. Mm, so you only care about money. I waited tables for a while. I must have been doing so many things wrong because when I came to the table, I asked if their food was okay and avoided assumptive insults. Lisa, I don't normally do this, but since we are celebrating, what time do you get off tonight? Glad you asked. I get off at 10 past. I'm never going out with you. I almost want to take a sin off for that not working, but it was a really bad comeback line and it actually ends up working, so... 23% of this overlong pilot is establishing shot metro porn. 15 seconds of this guy deciding to stay in bed is 15 seconds too long. Because, because when you put two bullies in the same room together, things generally don't go so well. Is this supposed to be funny because Harvey is a bully? He bullied his client and he's bullying his associate with your wife jokes. Harvey is saying things that sound smart but really don't have any substance when you try and take a bite. Harvey is a croissant. I see that you're also trying to look like a pimp. What makes this suit pimpier than this one? The shininess, the incredibly tight tailoring that gives Harvey a flattering figure. This is the suit your wife picked out for me. And that would be funny if I'd actually been married. Humor is subjective, but this is my channel, and I'm saying the fact that this guy doesn't have a wife made that funnier. All senior partners get an associate. It's just a rule. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I'm with the grumpy coworker cliche guy here. You choose this moment to convey that information? I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on the pimp suit comment. Is it the striped shirt and the striped tie that makes it pimpy? The six buttons on his vest? I bet it's the two coat pockets. I just don't want to be mislabeled as a pimp. Luckily for me, all my suits are from a discount store, so if anyone confuses me for a pimp, I'll say, f off, I'm not that kind of asshole. And second, these suit pockets aren't even real. Let's talk about Harvey's real talent as a button ninja. I've never figured out how to button my coat without touching the buttons. Honestly, this is the first time I've been impressed with Harvey so far. I'm in. One time deal. Cool, we're throwing in a little of that one last job energy that all the great productions are always going on about. That should make this episode feel super fresh. For the record, I cannot take anyone seriously when they hold this type of pen. 24 hours we'll know if this new buyer's a cop. And I'm saying it this loudly directly after the guy I'm hiding that info from left the room. Because I'm in a TV show that doesn't think about how real humans keep secrets. Because if these guys are cops, whoever's holding that weed is going to jail for a long time. I've seen enough episodes of Matlock to know that if Mike just gives up Trevor, then Trevor just gives up this guy, then they'll figure out the scorned wife shot her husband's lover, and what was I talking about again? My mom's coming by my place later, and I don't want to mess it up, so... 
hanging here. What horrible habit does she have that in order to avoid doing it in her own home, she has to hide at her boyfriend's house? Context clues tell us it's a messy habit, or hobby. I'm going with indoor beekeeping. Possible love interest fixes tie because the guy can't do it properly, cliche. Philip, how did you know I was your successor? A gun. Jeez, this alias episode took forever to get started. What was all that shit? The lawyer and the dude taking the bar exam for money. I sure hope they start talking about Rambaldi soon because I need my fix. So what are you gonna do about it? What would you do about it? The man's missing compassion. Hmm? Let's shove it down his throat. 20 minutes in, and this show has a lot of witty dialogue, but I'm pretty sure no one has actually said a goddamn thing that makes sense. Why is the pool closed? Plot reasons, kid, and you are the one that has to suffer for it. Can I help you? No. This officer had absolutely zero clue whether Mike went up or down the stairs, what floor he got off on, or what direction he would then go. It somehow finds his way to the exact place Mike actually ended up. What form of magic is this? My name's Louis Slit. Louis Slit? I think I've heard of your brother, Mike. I seem to remember they used to get calls for him at this animated bar I hit when I'm in Springfield. And you not only did not go to Harvard Law School, you haven't even gone to any law school. What if I told you that I consume knowledge like no one you've ever met and I've actually passed the bar? Considering this show could have easily been titled This Works, I feel like I should just tack on an extra 20 cents here for its entirety. Also, this show has the weirdest setup and plot since my mother the car. But you're sitting at a computer. Playing hearts. Sorry, if you want to beat me, you're gonna have to do it as something else. Okay, fine. These two are actually really good together. I'd watch them try to one-up each other forever. Except I won't, because I haven't even started on Chernobyl yet. So I sent off for Mike and Harvey's chemistry, but then put it right back on for this stupid peak TV era. One of these things is not like the other. Number seven missed the dark suit memo that day. That or Mitchell will make a convenient plot appearance later. Spoiler, he does. Which is right around the corner, you know what I tell him? Clifford Watkins? Excuse me. Whatever Clifford was blabbering on about was so disinteresting that this woman can't be bothered to stick around for the punchline. She instantly runs for it. If this ever happens to you in a conversation, it's a clear sign that you're an asshole. So if you subtly hand me your name tag, then you can proceed directly to the dean's office. This idea is fun and all, but wouldn't Clifford get to the office, realize he'd been bamboozled, alert the staff, and reconnect with the tour in 20 minutes? Uh, hi. Good morning. I'm Have here a seat. To I've never understood these interactions. Normal people wait for the receptionist to finish the phone call before talking. Or maybe my mama just raised me right. Jesus, this firm is f amazing. They have the Duchess of Sussex as a f researcher. You know what nobody likes? Nobody likes a show off. This is true. Also, showing off is approximately 3,267% of what this show is comprised of. I just got reamed for lying to a client, and if they find out that I lied about you going to Harvard, they'll take away my license. They would have done that regardless of the first law. I got myself a job as a secretary at Devlin McGregor. You mean the drug company and the fugitive that made Provasic and killed a guy who found out it caused liver damage? That company? I know this story is important at all, but she really needs to stick a bookmark in that book, or the wind is going to blow the pages, she'll lose her place, and chaos! I'm not about caring, I'm about winning. Why can't you be about both? Because then this show would be about genuinely nice people, and that is not in the USA Network's agenda. Then what do you need my help for? I don't know how to fill out a subpoena. Really? You can Rain Man chapter and verse from the bar exam, but you can't do a quick Google search on how to fill out some paperwork? These joke setups are as paper thin as the subpoenas they're based around. Okay, I have two words for you. If you compliment her right now, the two words should be sexual harassment. Absolutely beautiful. Dumbass. What are you doing here? What any drug dealer does when someone runs off with a briefcase of pot. Watch the sports center. Oh, well, okay then. Harvey, what a coincidence. Is it though? Considering you work at the same building and see each other all the damn time? You would think that he would use discretion when handing over a stack of cash for sex pics, but no, he proudly reuses that windowed envelope the utility company sent him. Harvey the environmentalist will sleep better tonight knowing he did his part to save the earth. Let me get this. But I'm a gentleman. Really? Guess I've been watching a different show for the last 50 minutes. Who does this before entering a store unless they want to look like a crazy person? Now shall we play? I'm not gonna let you win. Harvey plays a set of tennis in a suit as well? This show is taking its name very seriously. You think Hunt did the same thing to her that he did to me? You said he's a thin what now? What the hell is wrong with you? I need the briefcase back. Considering he didn't think to open a goddamn pizza box, even though he thought to open the oven, I'm thinking Trevor doesn't deserve to get the briefcase back. Holy sh I'm expecting a whole bunch of monsters, including a giant snake, to come out of these elevators any second. You plant a fake employee to manipulate the associate. That's it. Lawyer thinks he's lost the case, but has an aha moment from an arbitrary conversation about something that has nothing to do with the case cliche. Must admit, I, I look very dashing. Here we are at his bachelor party. Harvey points to this picture when he's talking about how dashing he looks, but he's pointing at the same picture when he talks about the bachelor party. And Nancy gets reinstated with back pay. Oh, happy day. You now get to go to work for the very asshole who fired you for not f***ing him. What a win! I didn't smile. I was thinking of a funny joke. I bet it involves lawyers in a bar and probably something homophobic and or racist. 
on the suit. Let's go a few rounds. Fellas, fellas, all reds. I get off at 10 past. I'm never going out with you. <laughs> I guess so. You're not the best closer this city's ever seen. You went to Harvard Law. What, like it's hard? Steve-o! <laughs> the Tomster, making copies, Mr. Tom! I have enjoyed myself since 2004. I haven't killed anybody since 1984. Have I made myself clear, Crystal? I'm sorry, we don't sell skinny jeans at this location. Big mistake. Big. Huge. I'm not an idiot. Don't treat me like one. We tried pulmonary stimulators and, and cardiac... We... Infusers. Infusers.